And indeed, I think it raises concerns about generally how we live our lives and the impact that some of these industries are having on our community, particularly air quality, which is of some serious concern from many, many residents in Gibraltar. And not one day goes past that I don't get complaints about smells, air quality generally, the fumes from, from uh, two-cylinder uh, motorcycles um, and the bunkering activity. I think we need to acknowledge actually in our community that if our economy relies on bunkering, then we need to look at ways in which we mitigate the environmental impact that that industry has on our water and on our air quality. So I think that this is a pure example of what we need to do in our community, which is put the environment first. And you mentioned that, um, you know, the economy relies on bunkering. So, and, and we know it is profitable for Gibraltar. Uh, I think that one of the things that we have to acknowledge in our community, and I think in the economy more generally, Gibraltar has positioned itself in many of the industries. I, for example, DLT and uh, alternative uh, distributed technology, game online gaming. We have said that we will only accept blue chip companies in our jurisdiction. Why can we not do the same insofar as the shipping industry is concerned? You also query in your statement the cost of the cleanup. Yeah, I, I think this is a really important issue. Um, you know, the chief minister has it on record as saying over the weekend that the polluter pays. And I think we were very quick uh, to respond um, on the bank holiday Monday where we said, look, anyone that pollutes um, our waters, anyone that pollutes our, 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 our environment must pay the consequences of that. If that is reparations to our community, reparations insofar as the cost of the cleanup, that must happen. Uh, and I, and I, I have no doubt that the, the investigations that will be conducted will look towards a potential prosecution um, by the relevant authorities in relation to this cleanup. But also, you know, we've got to look at the causes of this as well. But we also look at, look at ways in which we mitigate it. You know, letting in um, potentially uh, vessels that may not meet the standards that we would expect and should expect in our community with a focus on environment. We need to look towards trying to mitigate that and stop that happening in the future. So I think in summary, um, it would be great if they could then pay for the pollution that they have created, but also look at ways in which we can mitigate this happening again in the future, because no doubt uh, the NGOs and the, the community at large is very unhappy with, with our water being polluted, with our wildlife being affected. For years to come, this will have an impact. And it's right that there is a public discontent on the question of the environment.